Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, today is Friday, praise God, and I bless God for this whole week. We're in the month of December, and God is restoring things to you. That's the reason I'm sharing what I'm sharing with you this month. Tithes and offerings, because the Lord commanded me, I want to bring restoration supernaturally to my children but then we need to set the altar right we need to get your understanding to flow right praise god before going to today's broadcast can we make demand for our daily bread release your faith right now as we do say father i demand right now for my daily bread it's coming to me now in jesus name amen Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now then, yesterday, we, I was pointing out the, the place of first fruits. The place of first fruit. Okay, so I said God commanded all those offerings so that the children, his children will acknowledge him. And in acknowledging him, he will direct their path. And I was telling you about the role of angels. God has given angels charge consigning you. Now those angels have been in existence before you were born. And those angels are still walking today. Now listen. Let's take the first fruit practically. Now God commanded them that look, when you come into the land, and you reap the harvest, the first thing you must do is to take a first fruit of your harvest. So the first fruit was the first part of the harvest. You take it and it says, it shall be for the Lord. So God gave that command. Now that's not a free will offering. That was a, an offering and that's not an offering that is situational. You know what I mean situational? Like sin offering, trespass offering, those ones are situational. If you, if you make this mistake, so you have to give the offering to make things right, okay? But then, the first fruit offering was an offering God commanded from the children of Israel. All they needed to do was to receive the blessing of the Lord in terms of harvest, physical harvest, for the land, from the land that they have gone into. Now, what was the reason for that? The reason for that was this. Like I told you yesterday, God had commanded the angels concerning them. Now, remember, the Bible lets us know that the annex expectation of the creation waits for the manifestation of the sons of God. So, and angels... And every creation, even the earth, the land, they are all waiting to see the actions of a specific people who are called the sons of God. Now, God created everything with intelligence. Yes, he did. So the earth is waiting for God's sons to show up. How will the earth know that they have shown up? Because there are commands and ordinances God have instituted before the world, before man was created. He has... I wish you would just understand this truth and follow God so seamlessly and enjoy every good thing that he has prepared for you. Now, watch this now. So the children of Israel come into the land. The first harvest they get, they take the first part and they honor God with it. Now, what are they doing? They are showing to the earth, also to the angels, that the ones you were told will come, they are here now. Because what are they coming to do? They are coming to honor the Lord. They are coming to go according to the paths that the Lord has ordained for them. Yes. So it's the same thing today. That's why I say, how 
okay, what if you don't know the purpose of a thing, you will not even understand whether we should still be doing it or whether we should not be doing it. So when people begin to argue, oh, we're not supposed to, they don't know the purpose of first fruit. They think it is to enrich the pastors. No, sir. No, sir. And number two, God truly is interested in enriching his children, especially those who he has put forth to represent him. He is interested. I mean, you're working for God. Why won't God think of enriching you? <laughs> Praise God. It is on his mind. So let's not, let's not be, uh, let's not shy about the truth. It's on his mind. Okay, so now you take that first fruit and you are saying to the Lord, Lord, I have come into this land that you told our fathers about. And truly we have come to see that the land is flowing with milk and honey. And here is the first fruit that we have received from the land. Now, when that takes place, when, when they carry out that action, guess what they are doing? They are bringing a report to heaven concerning the land. Right? Number one. Number two, they are bring, showing themselves to be the sons of God or the children of God that God told the earths were coming. So you are acknowledging God. Number two, you are speaking for your identity. Now when these two things happen, God approves of you. The earth recognizes you. Then angels know that they are at your service. Now that is how God's children were invincible and even till this day that's why God protects that land for them now understand these thoughts behind it understand this principle behind it so you now ask yourself is God still blessing people today does he want to take responsibility for blessing people today the answer is yes if that's true, then do you think he would throw away the pattern he set for acknowledging him? And when somebody says, oh, because Christ has come now. Hey, hey, acknowledging God still exists till today. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, yes. Acknowledging God still exists till this day because God is still blessing us till this day so here is how we flow with it today you get blessed maybe you got a new job and you are paid now as a child of God you must have prayed for that job as a child of God, you must have prayed for that promotion, for that movement. Now, you get in there. As you get in there, what do you do? Lord, I have come into that job that I asked you for and you gave to me. And truly, Lord, this first month have proven that the job is good. I have received this payment from the job it's like the job i've reaped from the land you understand what i'm saying so you bring it as a first fruit in honor to the lord you say lord here is it this is the first pay that i have received from this land from this job so i'm testifying that there is fruit in the job number two I'm making the job recognize and the earth recognize that I am a child of God. So what does that mean? That means I should be treated differently. You don't understand. See, now this, this is how people joke with their lives in the name of uh, we are new generation. Uh -uh. There are landmarks you don't throw away. Now also because God demanded it, 
that's why God can say in Malachi, you are robbing me in this. He, he, he will say you're robbing me in sin offering. Because if you don't sin in those days, you will not require, be required to give a sin offering. And, and today, in truth, the sacrifice of Jesus Christ have covered for those offerings. Because those offerings were meant to be sacrifices for your wrong sacrifice. But then, the sacrifices that were given in honor to the Lord, for which God commanded them, surely still exists because we don't stop stop honoring the lord because we have come into christ are you getting and then now so when you when you give of your first fruit this is what happens you get into a new land for example now i'm sharing wisdom with you you get into a new land okay and you're blessed in that land Oh, this is the first time I'm coming to this land. Oh, this is the first time I'm receiving something from this land. Someone blesses you. Or you go to do some job and then you get paid. You take the first parts. I say, Lord, I came to this land and I got this harvest. This land gave me this good. And Lord, I want to honor you with it first because you are my lord you are the one that makes way for me i recognize the earth is the lord's and the fullness thereof so lord i bring a report concerning this earth this land that it has some good in it and it has shown me that good i honor you with it what are you doing you're sealing up your blessing in that particular land that land will always show you good. Don't believe people that act like God is not real. Don't believe people that act like God is not, is not looking at our actions. Remember, it is acknowledged. You are acknowledging the Lord. And guess what happens? When you do that, you must expect a response from God. You see, listen. You know, we, 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 you know, the other part, you know, they go, uh, do it as a sense of duty. Don't, don't expect anything. No, sir. No. You must expect a response from God every time you take an action to honor Him. Come on. How would you feel if you come, to, if you take, maybe you give someone money, send somebody money, and the person doesn't even as much as send a message, oh, I got the money you sent. You, be busy asking yourself, did he get it? Or is it that it's too small? You'll be wondering. You know, recently someone um, sent me some money. And we had a conversation. And after the conversation, the person said, oh, the person just like, oh, okay. Um, let me send you some money. Please send me your account number. So I sent the person the account number. And then, the person sent the money. But then I, I saw the I saw the the alert of the money very late into the night. So when I saw it, I said, Oh, ah, it was too late. So I sent a message to the person acknowledging um, what the person sent. So later in the day, I saw the person called me. And so when I picked, like, oh hi, you know, oh, fine, fine, you know. And then he said, sorry, Pastor, I was wondering whether you saw what I said. I said, oh, yes, I did. And they said, oh, because I didn't get any acknowledgement. I was now wondering whether it was too small. I said, no, check your phone. I sent a message. And they said, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see it. See, now what? I mean, he's done what he's supposed to do. <laughs> you understand? No, he was still concerned because he didn't see the acknowledgement that I sent. Now, that's man for you. Now, not because that is just man. That is how life is. Now, the same thing with you. Why do you think you will give to God and not expect him to acknowledge it? And this is how a lot of us have cheated ourselves. You will just give to God and say, eh, me, I've done my part. Oh, no, no. And you see, I'll, I'll tell you something. Acknowledging, acknowledgement from God doesn't necessarily mean you will see a miracle immediately. No. 
read your Bible. Solomon offered a thousand burnt offerings. Guess what happened that very night? God visited him in his dream. Don't you think Solomon was expecting something? Sometimes they give offerings to God and fire comes down from heaven to consume the offering. That's an acknowledgement. Every time you give, especially when you give these offerings that God commanded, you need a receipt. I'm teaching you practically how you work with God. You need a receipt. You need to be assured that God has received it. So there are several ways there will be the conviction in your heart. Number two, there will be a response from God in terms of words, visions. It will come. And the third part of it is the, the, the reply for your giving. Now that's where the blessing for which you gave comes in. So there's the acknowledgement or there's a receipt from God. You must know that God has received it. You must know that God has re- have received your offer. Before you start thinking of the, 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 the miracle or the, the response for your giving. Fresh food is, a, is an offering God commanded. So when you give it, like I was saying earlier, you are saying, Lord, I have stepped into this land. I have stepped into the place that you said I would step into. And here is the evidence that I have stepped in. It's a good place. Maybe it's a job. Maybe it's a new territory you entered. A new land you entered. You take that first fruit and say, Father, this is how you seal yourself in that new place so now you see first would always have to do with the new a child of god will know this and and this is it don't just give it casually you prepare yourself to give your first fruit because you see if you don't first give your heart then your money becomes useless and say, I know fresh fruit was in grains and all those things. How, I, I, you know, when people argue like that, they are so ignorant. It was not about what they gave. It's about their giving. In those days, of course, when they talk about fresh fruit, because they planted in the land, and so they wait for the harvest of their fruits to come. The harvest comes. Now they have the harvest. So they take of the first harvest and they give to God as, the, as their first fruit. Today, you don't as much as farm. So people say, because we don't farm, we're not supposed to give first. No, you earn money. The same reason they give first fruit from their farms is the same reason we give first fruit today. Yes, they give first fruit so that God will bless the land. You give first fruit so that God will bless your own ground also. Some of you don't recognize or realize that it is your honoring God properly in offerings that will even sustain the job that you do, not for yourself even, to make the job do well. Some of you don't realize that it is your actions or wrong actions or inactions that have brought the fall of the job you do, the place you work. You don't recognize that. You're a child of God, you're in that place, but no angelic activity is happening in that place, deliberately. But when you begin to follow these patterns, I said I was going to talk to you about ordinances. When you begin to follow these patterns, guess what you're doing? You're bringing heaven. You, you, are, you are bringing heaven to flow in the right direction. You and heaven flowing in the right direction. And guess what happened? There is no way you're going to be cut off. No way. That's impossible. Rather, you will move from glory to glory to glory to glory. And every new glory you step into, you recognize God. Lord, 
that have entered a new place. That's why Proverbs tells us, honor the Lord with, 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 um, honor the Lord with your substance, with the first fruit of all your increase. Then your barns shall be filled with plenty and your presses with new wine. Honor the Lord. Acknowledging him, that's what he said. Acknowledging the Lord. And as a mark of honor, you bring the first to him. Then what will happen? Your bands will be filled with plenty. You will never be cut off. That's what he's saying. Brothers and sisters, this thing is practical. It has not, it is not, leave people who want to argue. Revelation, he said, let the one that wants to be unrighteous, let him remain unrighteous still. But you who want to follow the patterns of the Lord, you will listen to the truth and follow his patterns. Praise God. My time is up. I bless you today that you will find so much fruitfulness in your life and your life will follow the patterns of the heaven and according to what is written so shall it be unto you on the earth in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ God bless you have a wonderful weekend I'll see you on Monday bye